guys, Rebel Core 411, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be using Camille Rose, okay, um, which is a black-owned, black-owned product. Yes, we're going to be using Camille Rose. We're going to shampoo, deep condition her hair, our hair, my hair with the mask, and then we're going to be putting in some twists, all right? But first... Let's do the introduction. So right now my hair is in pre-poo. Okay, I pre-poo my hair using fenugreek seeds and aloe vera. I let it sit for 24 hours and I got up and I put it all over my hair and I some of it I took down the twist and put them back up, but I retwisted it all. It's still damp. It feels so good. It has so much slip. I cannot wait to shampoo my hair, okay? So I've never used this before, but it's the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. It's the castor and aniseed oil. This is what I'm going to be shampooing with. Thug. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Let's smell it. No smell. Kind of sweet, but no smell. And then we're gonna go in with the Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask. Now I have used this before, but very little. I remember it being light. It being light. We're gonna do our leave-in conditioner which is going to be the leave-in honey. I love this. I love this stuff. I love it. It warms up in your hands, okay? And we're going to go in with their twisting butter and put up more twists because the more you protect the hairstyle, the more your hair is going to grow. It's going to grow. Do you see what I'm saying? Let me go and shampoo my hair and deep condition my hair. And I'll be right back with you guys. All right, since so my hair is in deep conditioning mode, I wanted to come back and tell you guys that the shampoo and the mask do have a refreshing summer, springtime, I'm gonna say springtime, fall smell to it. It do have a smell. It smells good once it's activated in your hair. So I stand corrected when I said it didn't have a smell. It does have a smell. And it smells very good. So what I'm doing here, people, is the pre-poo worked so good in my hair that I have decided that I'm going to incorporate the the fenugreek seeds and the aloe vera back into my twist okay this is this is the fenugreek seeds this is the, the nut bag that i drained all the aloe vera from and what i'm gonna do is put in some jamaican black castor oil vitamins a d and e i'm gonna put that in the um you know what to call these things. I'm going to put that in here. Because I'm just at a loss of words. I totally forgot the name of these things. They're containers. And I'm going to shake it up. And I'm going to be using this throughout the process of putting my twist back up. Because it still has the benefits. You're going to see it separate. It still has the benefits of the of fenugreek seeds. It still has the benefits of the aloe vera juice. And now it's going to have the, the benefits of the vitamin A. What was it? A, D, and E. It's going to have that in here. So that's what I'm going to use to seal my hair off. So all those things are still going to be working in my hair while my hair is up in a protective style. Hair feels really good. 
I can't just give all the credit to I'm trying to see how much. I can't give all the credit to Camille Rose. I, I, can't, I really can't because I, I really feel like most of it was the DIY. My hair feels so soft and moisturized. And I know Camille Rose is great. Camille Rose is great. So I cannot say that it wasn't just, you know, that it was just Camille Rose. I can't say that. I, I really can't. I, I think that doing the fenugreek and the aloe vera played a part in it too. I really do. Right now I'm just separating my hair, but I was just feeling my hair after I took off my, um, my t-shirt cap. I was feeling my hair and wow. Feels really good. Really, really good. So I think I'm making a wise decision to put the fenugreek in to incorporate the fenugreek and the aloe vera back into the um, texture style. I mean, what harm can it do? It's not going to do any harm. If anything, it's just going to make it better. So, but I did not want to just start this video fast without me showing you guys how I'm going to incorporate it. So it's LCO, liquid cream, and you know what, come here. This is my lead in. So it's liquid, leave-in, cream, and then an oil. So I'm about to apply some of this lusciousness honey in my hair. Rub it up because I just love for it to be warm in my hands. There it goes. Yay. And I'm going to apply it to my hair. Cream, which I had never even used this cream. And, and this is um, sweet almond milk and honey. Almond jelly twisting butter. I never used it. So, I'm heavy handed. I'm heavy handed. I know. And how I'm going to apply this is shake it up and go down my scalp. And work it in down my hair shirts. Making sure I get my ends. Just detangling. I wanted to show you guys how I was going to. Well, I wanted to tell you guys how my hair felt, first of all. And then I wanted to tell you guys how I was going to incorporate the aloe vera. And I'm simply doing 
twist as a protective style. And I know y'all like, God dang, she doing twist again? Yes. My hair is thriving off of this and the products and ingredients and DIYs. Yes. I'm using it again, doing twist again. So. See the juiciness. I mean, because it's it's juicy. They're they're very juicy. I feel like I'm gonna reach my goal of getting that hair length that I want. And the hair length that I want is simply um. Oh, hold on, I messed that whole part. The, the hair length I want is, is real simple. I want my hair to come down to my shoulder blades. See, my first hair goal was for my hair to come down to my shoulders. That was in 2019. This feels, I don't know. And that was in 2019, okay? So in 2019, I reached my goal. And no, I'm not pulling out my hair using this comb. You barely even see the hair in there. This is this is a good comb for parting. This is a good comb for detangling. This is just an all around good comb I got it on Amazon. It feels like a pencil. It's very sturdy, very sturdy. But. I want my hair by the end of the year to be by my shoulder blades. Down by my shoulder blades in the back. Mid, you know, I don't want to go too extravagant and then be looking like a feed. I don't want to look like a feed. So, you see that? And no hair comes out. I, And this is going to be up in a protective style, so I'm not worried about it coming down or nothing like that. But if I wanted to, if I wanted to do a twist out, I could do a twist out. I could. Don't get it twisted. The twist has, and it's going to have definition. I'm believing in Camille Rose for that. I'm believing in Camille Rose for that. And I believe Camille Rose will come through because her lavender whip line was the bomb. 
So, this is it. See, I did a little flat twist of the grays just to kind of push that to the side because I don't like nothing hanging in my face. This is the back. All the white will disappear. Remember, I used the fenugreek, the aloe vera, and the Jamaican black castor oil to seal it all in. And it's still going to, it's going to be work. The thought that those ingredients are still going to be working in my hair while my protective hairstyle is up is amazing. It feels great. So I will see you guys in the next video. Keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything you do. And I sincerely thank all of my subscribers for following me on my natural hair journey. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Just follow me on my natural hair journey. That's what I'm doing. Nothing sponsored, nothing, not being paid to say anything. Just doing, using products on my hair, letting you know how they work, which ones I believe work well. As you all see that twisting butter and that all that honey and all, all that's just good just good so go ahead and subscribe click on the red button down below and also click on the notification icon which is the bell and select all because on my natural hair journey i share a lot with you guys i love you guys and i appreciate each and every one of you each and every one of you and go back and look at some of my older videos and you can see you will be able to see for yourself why you should follow me on my natural hair journey. Because my hair has come a very long way. A very long way. In just a year. So, alright. Keep God first. See you guys in the next video. Bye.